I would just start testing values here less than five. So we want to be we want to try these guys dot 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 and maybe we'll see a pattern. So we know that this expression has to be greater than zero. And uh, with that in mind, because we're dealing with a di uh, multiplication and division, you should be thinking about um, your signs. And so if everything's positive, for instance, you're positive. So you're, you're greater than or equal to zero. If we're part positive, part negative, we could be uh, negative. If we're this, we're also negative. If we're this, we're positive, right? And again, this would create, um, also create positive. You don't have to write out all of these when you do this question, but certainly you should be thinking this way. So if we choose, uh, if we choose four, it's pretty clear that everything's going to be positive. So that works. If we choose three, again, everything's going to be positive if you choose three. If you choose two, you have a zero in the denominator, which uh, makes things undefined. So that's not going to work. One makes it so the top is positive, right? Everything's positive in the top, but the bottom is negative. So that's going to be negative. Same problem with zero. You end up with a positive top, but a negative bottom. Same problem with um, negative one. You end up with a positive top, but negative on the bottom, which yields negative overall. Negative two creates a zero. So that creates zero, so that's actually in bounds. That works for us. Looks like negative three would kind of do the same thing because that would create a zero here. Might want to try negative four. Negative four is going to make this negative, this negative, and this negative. So that makes everything negative. Try negative five. It's all going in the same direction. That's also going to create negative, 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 and anything more negative will do the same thing. So. We end up with four values that work. And let's remember this uh, just practical math here. We, there's nothing algebraic that we need to do. It's just following the instructions and uh, carefully just carrying out an organized plan.